right, we are starting with the basics. Bouncing ball seems already very promising. I think towards the end, it's just a bit hiccupy. And I think it would also help, this is a personal preference, um, to look at this from a orthographic side view, really side on. But right now, there are a couple things, and this is fairly common. So you have to look at, uh, let me put in audience getting here. So if this is your beginning, boop, 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 and the end here, whoops. Um, you have to look at the trajectory of, <laughs> oh, this is a, a fantastic exercise for me to draw blindly a beautiful arc. The idea that I'm trying to convey here, so change colors, is that when your ball has a stretch, that it stretches alongside that path. So that it's not like right now, your stretch goes straight down because it seems like it's just whatever controls you have on that ball, they're just being pulled down. So it's a very common thing. Just make sure that when you have your bounces, that the stretches are alongside that, under alongside, but along that, that path. That'd be the first thing. You have non repeated frames here, which is good. So there's no, no strobing on the ball. So you could have a little bit of, once you reach one or two frames into the, the apex, the highest point, a bit of a squash, just a bit, to get a bit up. And then again, stretching. You might also delay the stretch by maybe a frame or two. But the main thing again is as it lands here, you would have a bit more pointing towards the landing spot. And then I'd be careful, we're landing here, right? So every time it lands, it's gonna lose energy. As we can see, it's lower, lower, lower. And as you land here and you hit this, it lands further away. So I will be careful with that. It gives us a, a false sense of new energy here. Doom, doom, boom, boom, where you would just bong, 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 bong. I mean, you would ideally land here in a, in a spot to the right of the impact here. Let's go back right there Bang. I would just go for at least the same spot if not a little bit less and then the last ones they just feel too high this feels too high frequency when you bounce from this height and then here and then here like suddenly we're not losing that much energy anymore I think you can just boom 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 and then that's it versus having those light um, lots of a little high frequency jitter uh impacts there and then the only thing i would add just for completion sake doom, 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 as it goes over there i would keep rolling i would add like another two seconds to this where it just really comes to a stop with an ever so slight roll back so like really subtle in your graph editor uh it comes to a slow stop and then back again really really tiny just for subtleties there that's cool we're gonna look at your second one uh, if you want to escalate this shot on your own, or just to see how far you want to go, you can add a texture where it's just a line, and then you can see the rotations, and then you can practice how how the ball will rotate and, and rotate less uh, as it continues on, and, and especially how to translate while keeping the rotation so that it doesn't look like the ball is sliding. Uh, I think that would be uh, like the extra step for this assignment. Other than that, it's a great first submission, and that's it. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.